Welcome into the Extra Point presented by Corner Pub in Brentwood on 710 Old Hickory Boulevard. For Nashville's best meat and three craft beers and more, the neighborhood meets at the corner. And Zach, it's a massive weekend in college football. Ranked versus ranked teams all up and down the schedule. But it's also a massive game for the Vanderbilt Commodores on the road at South Carolina. Coming off the bye week, what are your expectations for this game? I'm worried. (laughs) And I would be worried if I was a fan of the Commodores as well. They got defensive problems, and they cannot run the football. Those were two things that they did so well a season ago to get them to a bowl game. They're sitting there below 500, as you said, coming off the bye, coming off of a major loss to Ole Miss, who's not very good. And they're catching a South Carolina team that's 5-2, and and I think that their confidence level is up. If they can't get Ralph Webb going, and if they can't tackle a little bit better than they have all season – I think it's it's gloom and doom for the Commodores the rest of the season. They're not trending to go to the postseason. Yeah, we were at Derek Mason's press conference earlier this week, and the tackling process was brought up a lot. And you can see that Derek Mason is a little pissed off with his defense. Obviously, they've given up 199 points over the last four games. It's been an embarrassing month for anybody involved with Vandy football. But I, I do think, Zach... This game against South Carolina is a huge pivotal point in Vandy's season. If you beat South Carolina, then you have Western Kentucky, Kentucky, Missouri, Tennessee. Those could all be winnable games. This could be the difference in going maybe 7-5 and and going 5-7 and and being home for the holidays for Vanderbilt. And I think South Carolina, yes, they're 5-2, and but its offense is struggling a little bit. Only 15 points against Tennessee a couple weeks ago. And before that, yeah, they scored 48 points against Arkansas, but three touchdowns came on defense. A fourth touchdown should have come on defense. Defense. They struggled the week before that, only putting up 17 points on Texas A&M. Carolina is a seven-point favorite. I think Vandy can get Ralph Webb in the running game going, and I think Vandy can try to get the defense back on track because no Rico Dowdle, no Debo on South Carolina's offense. It's all about surrounding Jake Bentley and containing that guy. And I actually like Vandy in this game to cover the seven points, but a huge opportunity for Vandy to steal a win on the road, get back to 500 with an opportunity to get closer to a bowl game. Well, I think it's tough to swallow because this year for Vanderbilt was not supposed to be a regression. It was supposed to be a progression. You're supposed to progress into a seven-win team, a six-win team again like a season ago. But you're right. This is a pivotal point in the season. 126 in the rushing game. I don't know if I'm that confident that Rush, uh, Ralph Webb gets right back on track. 126 I in know. college football, I, in rushing the football, you can't tote the rock. You ain't going anywhere, son. Yeah, but when you play teams that get blanked against Alabama and then you get blanked basically against Georgia and Florida's a pretty good defense still, they went through a tough stretch. South Carolina is a pretty good defense, too. They are, but I think Vandy can get back on track. I don't know if they win the game, but it's a great opportunity for Derek Mason and his team. Well, you're going to have to watch A to Z Sports from 8 to 9, live from Corner Pub, speaking yeah. of the extra point, Friday morning to get my pick. <laughs> You've already given them a taste of where you're going in this ball. And that's today's extra point presented by Corner Pub in Brentwood on A to Z Sports